Hello, it's Sonia from Just Women's Business and today I want to show you how I created my own printed gift cards in Canva. They're really easy to make and I made um, like a custom design uh, size that I wanted and I just popped on a simple image on the front and I actually used one of the images in Canva just for the back uh, press print and within honestly I think it was probably maybe a week I had them here ready on my doorstep and it was amazing so um, I'll show you how quick and easy it is to do in Canva so let's go so just to give you an idea what I did this was the kind of tag I made it was just like the top of a pineapple and on the back I had just with love and a squiggle so pretty simple and easy but I'll go back to the dashboard and um, when you open up Canva and you've got your dashboard across this big blue bit as you go along you've got to just grab the thing that says gifts and print so I picked uh, that and then this is where there's so much to choose from you can have um, like uh, calendars you can have business cards Christmas cards gift cards uh, ceramic cups tote bags if you just arrow along there it just keeps going on and on and on um, the, actually one thing that was really quite nifty was um, going back here was a, oh, it was a photo book and I did play around with that and that's fascinating so um, but for now I'll just go to this one which is the very last one the gift tag it's actually an 8 by 5 centimeter by 5 centimeter so it's just a tiny little swing tag you can put on a gift um, so it's come up blank and um, but I think they do have suggestions of multiple different um, templates you can use which I think is great you can get heaps of ideas from that and then next to gift tag if you wanted to type birthday um, in there then it does filter it down to uh, give you a few more birthday options as well but um, for now I'll just go um, just delete that what I want to do is though use something from my own um, images so I'll just go to folders and I'll type in the one I, I had like just some simple black and white palm um, palm and um, pineapple prints so when I went back this was just a simple black and white image which was this pineapple here and I just dragged it right out to make it quite big and brought it down probably I think I dragged it out even more about like that and it's probably good as you move it around it centers it that's probably an important thing too I might just drag it up a bit um, and then I also wanted to have a second page so I just went add a page and I just typed in text and I wrote with love I changed it to a lovely running writing font but I did make it down to uh, 18 like um, the size 18 points so and then that's pretty well in the middle then I wanted to add like a squiggle so I went back to elements and I just typed in actually squiggle and and um, a lot of different sort of options come up some are animated which obviously aren't for um, won't work with this and um, but I think I went might have been photos yes this was the one I used but you can see it's a pro option so if you wanted a free one go to the filter section just click on the free and apply filters and then it, it gives you all the free options so I'll take that off um, the one I did use was this one but as I made it smaller I realized it um, has a white background so if that like if I position that oh hang on if I position that no it's not, well maybe that is a see-through one some of them have it looks like it's got a white background so I might it might um I've got to just be careful that I don't drag it down too far because I'll show you why so I'll just do it like that okay so I'm pretty happy with that and I think yeah that's all I wanted something really simple so now you go to the top part of the toolbar and go print tags this is probably important because um, obviously I would like double-sided 
So I'll just make that zoom down to 200. So it's automatically ticked both pages and double side. So the standard, um, I, if you go to the drop down of the standard paper, it's um, got 240 to 325 GSM, but I went the premium one, which is 325 to 350 GSM. And then I, um, this part's really important. It says matte finish, gloss finish, or uncoated. Now I do go the matte finish. It says it's a low sheen finish with vib uh, with vibrant colours, and you can write on it. A gloss finish is that it makes the colours pop, but you can't write on it. So if you want a gift tag and you just want to write um, your name on it, it's probably not going to work. And the uncoated finish is obviously like a raw cardboard finish. So I went the matte finish and it uh, just automatically goes 50 copies and it charges it at $22. So as I drop down, I noticed though if I went for an extra seven, um, oops, an extra seven dollars, I could get double the amount for 29. So this was, um, this is obviously like a bit of a special. I don't know how often that happens, but it's um, just handy to go through it if you were thinking of going more. But for me, I just wanted to see what it was like to get something printed by Canva. So I'll go to continue and um, did it go? Oh, here it goes. Now this um, is giving you an idea. It's got like a little bit of a video demonstration that shows you if you have want your image right out to the edge, you have to pull it right out to the edge. But um, if you have writing, if it's on over this crop line, it won't um, obviously print. So, and if you need help, just click on the need help, which is quite interesting. Then this one is also just showing you if you had obviously like a logo in the far right corner, it will cut it off. And so that's not something that you want or it just maybe not look right. So then when you go to continue, it gives you the option to do a PDF proof print, which I did print that. And, um, but I think you can pretty well see whether it's going to work or not. And then the next part is just your pay option. And um, if it, it's just really simple, just like normal ordering online. So if you go back to the bigger version, it's probably a bit easier to see. You could do whatever you want. I'll just add a page just to show you how simple some of these um, gift tags are. Um, I think if you're not going to write on it, you could have something that is quite um, bold and glossy or um, like even um, see made with joy for you. Like I think that's gorgeous. Um, and that's beautiful and colourful. So it's like whatever the options are endless. So yeah, I think you'll get um, like it's fun to try something like that. Um, if you go to the home page, this photo book was amazing. Um, it probably was a little bit pricey, but if it's um, a photo book that you're going to use a one of or buy a couple of, it's probably um, quite lovely to do. It, it gives you quite a lot of templates. I think I played around with the travel one. Um, so if you arrow along, um, just say I picked that one. It's got uh, 22 templates already to give you an idea of what to do. And then you could um, grab one, like something that you like, and then go to your folders, um, which I think just say I'll go to, um, I'll go to my um, palms again, and you just grab a photo and slip it into the template. So just say that one there. So that's something a little bit different. Um, so it doesn't really look like a photo. Um, like it's, it, there's a lot of options, and then you just add again and go back to the templates, which they're up here. And you just keep adding your page, whatever you like to do. Just probably, yeah. So yeah, I think you'll have fun, and um, it's and I I love them. I've been using them, and I just popped a little um, punch hole on the side 
popped a little bit of twine and added it to gifts. So it was a really, really quick and easy process and took about, I think, a week to come. So, and at the end of the video, I've got an unveiling of the box and what they look like and how they came presented. So yeah, have fun and enjoy and let me know how you go.